Long freaking day. Finally made it to Rio though. Time to go explore Brazil. What's up ladies and gentlemen, we're back with a, another vlog. This time though, I won't be flying. I'm going on a little vacation. We're currently in Newark Airport. It is dead as can be. Not gonna complain about that. And we are heading down to Brazil. I got a uh, $6,000 travel credit that I had to use by the end of the month. Use it or lose it, I'm freaking using it. We're flying down first class, Sao Paulo, Brazil, and then hopping on a uh, flight down over to Rio. So I'm gonna go to Rio for a week, get out of the cold weather in New York, and go enjoy some sunshine and beach down in Brazil. I don't speak a lick of Portuguese, so hopefully hopefully it works out. I'm going by myself, but like I said, looking forward to a nice relaxing week. So if you wanna come along and check out Brazil with me, let's go do it. flight down and lay flat, had a lot of eats, feeling good. And now I'm checking my connection to Rio. So fun fact, I just went through security here in Sao Paulo. Water bottles, no problem. Suntan lotion, over three ounces, no problem. I think Brazil might be my favorite security I've ever been through. It seems like you could bring anything through, no problem. So catching this flight to Rio, be there in an hour. All right, well, that didn't go as planned. My uh, flight to Rio was just canceled. I was sitting in the boarding area. I started talking in Portuguese over the uh, loudspeaker. I had no idea what was going on, obviously. And then everyone just left, so uh, yeah, no bueno, no good. Uh, luckily, there's another airline ball. Flies about an hour and a half to Rio, so I canceled my ticket on Latam and then just rebooked on Gaul. So sitting here, a bunch of Portuguese going on. Again, no idea what's going on. There's some thunderstorms here in Sao Paulo. So fingers crossed, the next stop is, uh, is Rio and we make it. Let's see. We made it, folks. Let's go. Next stop, Rio. Long freaking day. Finally made it to Rio, though. Time to go explore Brazil. So I'm staying at the National National Hotel and I got a pretty sweet deal. This room was like literally 75 bucks a night. Shout out to Maggie for hooking it up. It's actually kind of weird, but also kind of cool at the same time. You can see in your living room in the shower, there is a blind, but it's super nice. The room, in my opinion, I mean, all you're really doing is sleeping. King bed, little sitting area, TV, and then this view. So pretty cool view of the mountains. Uh, Christ Redeemer's right up there. Can't see it because the clouds in the way. And then you're literally right across the street from the beach. So shout out again, Maggie, for hooking it up. 75 bucks a night. Uh, the location isn't the greatest. The uh, breakfast comes is free. Also not the greatest. Um, overall, I'd say it's like a seven, 7.2 hotel. Um, location isn't near really many restaurants. You gotta be willing to take an Uber. Uh, or Subway, which I per am perfectly fine with. The beach, it's also not Coco Cabana or Empanada Beach, however you pronounce that. It's like much quieter, which I like. This vacation for me was to be chilling on the beach, doing nothing but sleeping, tanning, and reading some books. So for me, it's exactly what I wanted. So yeah, if you're looking for a hotel that's, again, like not gonna break the bank and does everything you possibly could need, I would say this is a good spot. But if you're looking to be in like, the heart of the action, not Uber anywhere, be close to restaurants and like all the nightlife, definitely not for you. So overall, not too bad. And this is the pool area. 
It's a decent sized pool, but the negative of it is only that many beach chairs or that many pool chairs. So it can kind of suck because there's really not much sitting area, but overall it's all right. It's kind of loud with the music. So there's the beach, literally right across the, right across the road from the hotel. So I go to the beach, but I would definitely say the pool area is a negative here at uh, National. Good morning from Rio de Janeiro. Couldn't really tell my view yesterday when I got in because it was crap weather, raining and dark, but there it is. Christ the Redeemer statue is just over that hill. The clouds are covering it, can't really see it now, but some cool mountains. And there's the beach. So I'm gonna have a little brekkie, a little breakfast, and then uh, time to go get some sun. 83 and sunny, baby. Let's go. Not sure exactly what this is that I'm eating, but some sort of chicken and beef and rice. I would say uh, 7.2 out of 10, but I'm starving, so I'll take it. So you know, vacation, I make sure Get my body moving no matter what. Luckily, this hotel has a pretty decent gym. I'm just in the spare room right now, but I feel like you go three months to see progress. It only takes like three days to lose it all. So always at least move the body for at least 30 minutes. I'm gonna quick workout before dinner. And uh, I think it's super important to like, kind of keep to, your, keep to your program and your momentum. You don't wanna throw it all away just from like a week vacation. Meal here, my first real meal. Pasta, tallagini, something or the other with uh, lobster, mushroom. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Good morning from Rio, day number three. Uh, just finished some breakfast. A beautiful, beautiful day today. Look at that. Let's go. Let's go have a day, people. But first, you already know it's non-negotiable. I'm gonna hit a quick workout so I can enjoy my day, not think about it, get it over with, grab some lunch, and then we're headed to the beach. So this beach, as you can tell, is a lot more crowded than the one where I'm staying but a lot of people activity, a lot of people watching. My favorite part, honestly, just to walk around, kind of emerge myself and what's going on. And it is hot out here. It is hot. I'm getting more and more burnt, but enjoying the sun. That's why I'm down here. So one thing about me, no matter how cheap Ubers are, I'm always gonna go for public transportation. So wish me luck on my first one in Brazil. We're taking the subway. No idea how it works, but I live in New York City. How hard could this be? transportation subway experience in Brazil. I gotta say, I would say it's cleaner than New York City. They have those open carts, which people are complaining about in New York that they're about to start, but I like big public transportation guy. Found a nice little treat at my hotel. Got a nice little, pretty big actually, sauna. It's not too hot, unfortunately, but it's one of my favorite things to do. To kind of wind down the day, relax. So I'm gonna sit in here for 15 minutes and then uh, heading out to dinner tonight. 
I had a reservation at a steakhouse, but I canceled that because I wasn't gonna make it in time. So I'm gonna find some other steak meat here to eat in Rio. I heard it's Carney Heaven in Rio de Janeiro. So excited to check that out. All right, leaving my hotel now, walking to the subway. And we're going to the steakhouse called Morselin, Morseline. Obviously my pronunciations are always off and will be this entire trip, probably for the rest of my life. Um, but it's supposed to be one of those Brazilian steakhouses where you flip the red and green. So carny heaven, all you can eat steak. Looking forward to it. Nom, nom. All right, this place is freaking legit. It's overwhelming. You just sit down. And they just come with meats. I don't understand what's going on, what's what, but it's all freaking delicious. The wild card though, by far, as a side, not meat, fried banana, crack. Literally crack, it's so freaking good. F me up. Oh my gosh. Meat sweats are gonna be real tonight. That was by far one of the best meals I've ever had, no joke. If you're in Rio, check out the steakhouse. If you like meat, because that's all, it's, that's all it is. Meat, 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 meat. Good morning, beautiful people from Rio de Janeiro. Today is the big day. We're going up to see Christ the Redeemer. I don't think you can see it from here. It's right up there on that plateau, covered by that cloud right now, but kind of a good day to do it, I feel like, because it's not too sunny. But I think it's one of the wonders of the world. I'm pretty sure it is, which is pretty cool. I'm pretty stoked. So taking an Uber to the train station and I bought a train ticket. It was like 110 Brazilian reels. It's about like 25 bucks USD. So excited to go check that out and then uh, explore some more of Rio. Made it to the top. Nice the views of the city are unbelievable, honestly, though. It's kind of foggy, so it's hard to see, but the football stadium's right down there. Airport's over there. And then, of course, the big man himself. Really, really cool. Really, really freaking cool. Full day, dinner time. Checking out a restaurant from, uh, recommended from TikTok. It's called, again, I'm gonna butcher the pronunciation, but like, Maria Cousteau or something like that. It's really, really cool ambiance, good food. So let's go give it a shot. So on every table, they give you flags from where you're from. I got a USA flag. My friends over here have a Chilean flag. There's uh, different flags from all over the country. I don't know what half of them are, but it's pretty cool. So here's the bathroom, the gravel, and there's a sink, but I think you pee in there, but I didn't want to test it out. I needed the other guy in here, so. Just got back from dinner from that kind of funky place, Maria Gustavo's whatever pirate ship. Ambiance, eight out of 10. Uniqueness, nine out of 10. Food though. Probably one of the, probably the worst place I've had in Rio. It wasn't bad, just wasn't good. So save your, and kind of pricey. So in my opinion, save your money. Uh, there's much, much better spots to eat. It just has a cool uh, vibe, I guess, is why people go, but wouldn't recommend. Like I said, not like it was bad, just definitely not my favorite. So super freaking tired, up early to go see the one of the seven wonders of the world, gonna crash. And then last day is tomorrow, folks, last day. Last full day in Rio. Just gonna be chilling today, enjoying the sun. It was supposed to be sunny today, so getting lucky out by the pool. Got my book, listening to some tunes. Life is good, baby. Life is good. All right, last night in Rio de Janeiro, had a great day. Literally did nothing but sit on my butt and read 
listened to some music, took some naps, got ready to go out and headed to Me, M-E-E, -E, some Asian fusion restaurant that's supposed to be pretty good, located in uh, the Hotel Palace, Coco Cabana. And then, this is my last night, so we'll see. I got an early morning flight tomorrow. Fingers crossed, because we're non-revving. We're jump seating, non-revving. Hopefully back to JFK. So, last night in Rio, let's go do it. Airport, great trip, had a lot of fun, but now the little bit of stressful part starts. Uh, since I'm not on a paid ticket, I will be non-revving or jump seating on another airline, so I only get on if there's an open seat. So fingers crossed for me, that's why I'm dressed in business casual. And uh, yeah, we're gonna ask the captain and ask the airline for a seat. So not always the easiest and most uh, convenient way, but not going to complain about free so hoping for an open seat even more so hoping for an open uh, first class pd lay flat seat that would absolutely make the cake but any seat will do just want to get home and get back to jfk all right we made it we're at the gate we're starting to board now i still don't have my seat assignment yet but fingers crossed i think the seats are pretty open so i should be good to go but definitely not a requirement in jump seating or non-revving, which is something I like to do on longer flights. Pick up some, some duty-free candy, some snacks, and some Kinder bars. Hopefully these are Brazilian, I don't think they are. I know these aren't gummy bears, but he doesn't love Harbo, Harbo gummies. Um, so give it to the crew, because they're gonna be working hard, uh, you know, feeding us and giving us drinks, and I'm, I'm gonna ride for free, so I figured the least thing I could do was uh, we'll give them some snacks. So. Fingers crossed, looking good. Hopefully next stop, JFK. All right, we made it on. The stresses of non-revving, it's not always the best, but like I said, never gonna complain about a free flight. See you in JFK. made it folks we're back in new york easy flight went by pretty fast the flight attendants were great the entire crew was great and then uh flew through customs so now just an uber ride home and that's all she wrote so as always i hope you enjoyed the travel vlog first time making a pleasure one so bear with me a little bit on that and uh, as always any comments questions hit me up otherwise uh back to work next week and back to your regular scheduled programming i'll see you